In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a notification bot for Microsoft Teams using Teams Toolkit. Hi, my name's Gary Trinder and I'm a cloud developer advocate at Microsoft. If you're struggling to build bots or just looking to get started developing apps for Microsoft Teams, this video walks you through how to use Teams Toolkit to create and debug apps with ease, making use of common project templates to speed up your application development. This video does assume that you have access to a Microsoft 365 developer tenant, Node.js version 14 or version 16 installed, as well as Visual Studio Code. Let's get started. So our first step is to install Teams Toolkit into VS Code. So let's head over to the extensions and search for Teams Toolkit. Select it and then click Install. Now we can create our project. Open Teams Toolkit, click the Create a New Teams App button to open the wizard and select Create New Teams App. In the list of capabilities, select Notification Bot. This is the template that will be used to scaffold our project. Our bot can be triggered to send a message either by receiving an HTTP request or on a specified schedule. Select Timer Trigger to send messages on a schedule. This will create a project that uses an Azure function to host our bot. Select your preferred programming language. Now select a folder where you want your project to be created. Finally, enter a name for our application. Note that this will also be used as the name for your project. Hit Enter to scaffold the project. Once complete, the project folder is automatically open for you. By default, the bot will send a message every 30 seconds to the locations in Microsoft Teams that it is installed to. Before we see it in action, however, we first need to authenticate Teams Toolkit with our Microsoft 365 developer tenant. This enables us to run and debug our bot locally. So open Teams Toolkit, Click sign in to M365, click sign in, and enter your account credentials into the browser window. Once successfully authenticated, return to VS Code. Let's run our project and see the bot in action. To do this, go to Run and Debug, select your preferred browser in the drop down, then either click the green play button or press F5 on your keyboard to start the bot. Teams Toolkit will start all the required services for you, open Microsoft Teams in your chosen browser, and open a dialog to sideload the application into your tenant. Note that this process will take longer the first time you run your bot, as Teams Toolkit will ensure that all the required packages are installed. Clicking Add will install the app as a personal bot for your signed in user. Alternatively, you can also install the bot into an existing channel, chat, or meeting by selecting one of the options in the dropdown. Great, we have our first message received into the chat from our bot. The messages are sent using an adaptive card, which is a great way to send messages that look great and adapt to the surrounding user interface. Let's head back to VS Code and make a code change. Expand the bot folder, which contains the bot's source code. In the source folder, open timertrigger.ts. This file contains the logic that is executed every 30 seconds and which defines the messages that the bot sends. Let's change the title property value on line 22 save the file and head back to Microsoft Teams. The next message we, re we receive will use the updated title without us having to stop and start our bot, which is great as we can continue to make changes to our code and see the results immediately. Let's head back to VS Code and debug our code. Add a breakpoint to line 20. When the bot next executes, the breakpoint will be hit and we can use the built-in debugging features of VS Code to inspect variables and step through the running code. There you have it. You've seen how easy it is to create, develop, and debug a notification bot for Microsoft Teams using Teams Toolkit. Thanks for watching.